isn't it? But yeah. actually, yes, we saw some snow. There was a covering, just a couple of centimetres, and that was particularly down in eastern parts of Kent. And as I was saying, for most of us, those wintry mixes were falling as rain. And this afternoon, a much drier picture for us all. There was the sunshine around, but it felt bitterly cold. Temperatures reaching highs of two or three degrees with really raw northerly winds. So, of course, into tonight, those temperatures set to plummet. In more rural spots, we could see lows of minus five or minus six degrees. For tomorrow, a frosty start, some drizzle around. But once again, by the afternoon, it's feeling cold with some hazy brightness. So, of course, where we saw those wintry flurries around earlier, as those temperatures fall away tonight, it means, again, the risk of ice. That warning out for eastern parts of Kent, that's valid until 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. So this is the picture through tonight. Clear skies, clear starry skies, of course. Temperatures in more rural spots, as mentioned, minus four, minus five degrees, even as low as that in some towns and cities as well. So a clear, bright, but frosty start to the day for Thursday. Initially dry then around lunchtime we start to see more cloud and some patchy drizzle around with that as well. That clears out of the way and behind it still in that cold air mass temperatures four five degrees. Bit of a shift though as we go through the first part of Thursday evening. Initially temperatures dropping below freezing but actually they start to rise towards the early hours of Friday morning. We've got a warm front around for Friday so temperatures still hovering around freezing one or two degrees. Initially it's going to be dry but we see more cloud eventually some rain and by the afternoon for Friday temperatures reaching the lofty heights of six or seven degrees but no the wind's back to a southerly direction. It's not going to last, though, the cold weather back for the weekend. 